Hi there, it's Paul Carman with you once again um, with another little handy hint for your Korg PA. Uh, again, I'm using my own PA4X here. Um, but as long as you've got the pad feature um, on your, your PA, you're able to do this. Has anybody thought of just using the pads to create a complete style? Um, so don't use the, the, the built-in styles or any user styles. Just use the pads to create a style. You can get some fantastic effects um, doing this and we'll, we'll give you an illustration of that in just a second. But many people think the pads are useful for like a single strike of an instrument, like a cymbal crash, bass drum, snare drum, or an orchestral hit, or a little wind chime, something like that. Um, they're fantastic for that, but when you go into the pad section, you'll also see there's a series of uh, what they call sequence pads. And basically a sequence is a, a loop of, of music, rather like an individual part of a style. Um, it's a pattern that keeps repeating itself. So we could actually use that to make a style up. Let's show you. From the home screen, if we press the pad button, then I can see what's currently loaded um, into the four pads and obviously I've got this prepared already but let me show you how I've done it. I've gone to pad one and rather than use the hit tab at the top I've moved along to the next tab which says sequence and I've chosen the drum and if we look we've got drum brush two three four and if I just press pad one There it is, it's just a basic 3-4, nice 3-4 um, pattern. Let's press exit, let's see what we've got in pad 2. I've just gone for percussion 3-4, again it's in the sequence tab, this time under percussion. And if you really want to know, it's on page 3. So let's press pad 2. Just a nice little shaker and, and a tambourine coming in there. Of course, I can now mix that with pad 1. So I've got my complete drum set. Let's exit. What have we got in pad three? Well, in pad three, I've got nylon guitar arpeggio three, four. Again, it's under sequence in the guitar section. And again, if you really want to know, it's on page three, bottom right hand corner. Trigger the chord you want it to play. And if you just press pad three, Now the great thing about this, it will actually take its tempo from the tempo you've set in the main screen. It will also take the notes from the notes that you play in the left hand. So if I change chord, Could add my drums to that if I want to so let's maybe have pad one and three on now you've got a stop button at the end I keep <laughs> going to the start stop button there that's not where you start and stop the uh, the pads there is a stop button um, right on the far right hand uh, side of those pad buttons there. In number four, let's just have a final look. I've got a sequence of strings. Now this just plays a nice sustained string harmony um, to whatever chord I'm playing. Um, so again, let's go back to our guitar. Now let's introduce pad four. If you add the drums to that, you've actually got a complete style. Um, you don't have to use the drums, you could maybe just use, it would be very effective to just use the guitar and then bring the strings in. It would give you a really acoustic sounding um, style. And um, yeah, have a mess about with these because there's some fantastic features in there. Um, what is great is that it takes the tempo 
and the chord information that you give it. So in effect, yes, it's a style. Let's just use what I've uh, set there and just play you a little piece um, called Cavatina, which is what I set this up for in the first place. Um, it goes like this. We'll put pad three on. <laughs> 